Hi there, this video is in response to a question that was posted on a Facebook group. Uh, the user needed to have the ability to add, add nodes to a path everywhere that another path intersected it. So in a case like this, everywhere that this red line crosses the star, they wanted to have nodes added. And also the end result had to be one continuous path. So I thought about it and this is the solution that I came up with. Now the basic steps are to create your paths. Uh, and then convert the shapes to a path. So I've done that. I've, I just drew this line out with a Bezier tool and I created the star using the shape tool and then converted it to a path. And the next thing we need to do is to make sure that the paths are in the proper stacking order. And so basically, the way that the cut paths Boolean that we're going to use works is that the, sh the path that is lower in the stacking order will be cut by the path that is higher up. So right now, these paths are not in the correct order. This star needs to be below the red line. So we can do that with our stacking order tools up here. And I'm just going to use this left one here to lower the selection to the bottom. So now we can see the star is behind the red lines. I'm also at this point going to go and just get rid of the fill that's on that star. Just making that X there. Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to, uh, now with them in the proper stacking order, we need to, sele to select both of the paths. So I'll just use the select tool, draw around both of them, they're both selected. Now we can use the cut paths boolean operation. So we go up to the path menu and come down to cut path. And what you see is that we have all these little bounding boxes indicating that we have a star that's made up of 32 different little line segments. So let's just take a, a quick peek at that. So this is what our star is made up of right now, which is not gonna work for this application. So we're gonna hit Control Z to undo those. Um, back to where we started from after our cut path operation. So now what we need to do is select all of those little paths. So again, I'll just draw around it. And then we need to select all of the nodes of those paths. So I'm just gonna use uh, the node select tool. So you can press F2 or you can use the button on the toolbar. And I'm gonna select all of those nodes and I'm gonna go up here to the Join Selected Nodes tool. And there we have it, we've joined all of the nodes. So what basically it does is it joins any nodes that are overlapping or on top of one another. Um, let's go back to the Select tool and just have a look at this shape. Uh, in the status bar, we can see that it is one path comprised of 43 nodes on layer one. So that is exactly our intended output. We now have a shape made up of a whole bunch of different little nodes. So one sort of a caveat to this is that if you have an open path, something fancy like this, you have to do it slightly different. Um, you just It's in the order that you select the nodes before you go to join them. So let's just perform that operation. Let's select both of our paths. Let's go to cut path. We're left with all of our little individual paths. What we need to do is again select our node tool. In this case, we're going to select everything, but then we're going to go back and we're going to deselect the start and end nodes. And I'm just holding shift while drawing over those nodes. And let's see if that worked. Uh, now we go to join nodes. Okay, sorry, uh, my mistake on that. Let's select everything again. You can't deselect by shift and dragging over it. So everything selected, the node tool, select all of the nodes. And then we go hold down shift and click on that start node or end node and click on that start node or end node and it should be deselected hopefully that is the case this time let's go to, to join selected nodes and there we go now we have a path that is not joined from the start to the end node like we did in that first little mistake and again if we go back to the select tool we can see it's one path comprised of 52 nodes and there we are so hopefully you found this helpful thank you for watching